Well, we've had a little bit more of the supply chain delays, although this was shipped last August to us from England. It arrived just now, but we have it and Christmas will be coming again. So this is a tonic magazine and box kit. We call it that because you get a magazine, you get lots of other goodies and it comes in a box like this. So tonic is the theme and snowmen are what you're going to be seeing. So before I get into the magazine with all the projects, let me show you the goodies that are inside. There are 21 dyes, so you've got a snowman, you've got all the things to dress him with the hat, the scarf, different hat, um, different face looks also. And there's, in addition, there are 11 stamps. So um, have different faces for your snow people. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. There is also a stencil, so you can make a scene with these little guys. You can see the snow, uh, um, snowflakes as well as the snow drifts, so that's all together. So you get really quite a nice collection of things. Now, let's get into the projects to show you some ideas. By the way, there are papers inside the magazine also, so let me just get started. Here is the collection of what you're receiving. So that's a nice overview. You can see the papers as well as the cutouts that go with them. And so just starting right here, there is a one of them. You can see the let it snow, let it snow. There's that snow drift, some papers in the back, and we have more. Now, this is kind of a, a white, um, kind of a light blue on white. So it might be a little bit hard to see, but I hope you get the idea. And we'll just go to a couple more. And I thought it was fun. You can uh, uh, die cut them out of felt if you want to, or paper to make a wreath or to make a little shadow box. That would work, or out of felt to go onto a stocking. So lots of ways to use them. I thought this was really pretty to make a lantern with parchment or vellum and using the um, uh, stencil to stencil on it. So you can see this is the photograph of the project that was on the front of the magazine that we just saw. And here are more so you get you can put them together hugging in the snow. And of course this is a great time to use some of the um, uh, uh, materials that look like snow. So the, the fluff and so forth. So that's a good thing to do. Let's keep going. And we also have some projects like this, which are very easy to do, very nice striking, making some ornaments. And here we get into the papers. Now there are 16 sheets, they are double-sided. And where you get some cutouts and some borders if you want to use them that way, on the back side it's an all-over pattern. So that just works really nicely. So nothing goes to waste. You can see there's a lot of variety here, both of the patterns and all of the cutouts. And these are going to duplicate. You're going to get two of each one. So lots of words and greetings. And so that's fun. There's that green Merry Christmas. There should be a red Merry Christmas right there too. And then as I said, they duplicate. So you get two of each one. Let's go back to our snow people. Um, in England, they call ornaments baubles. So we'll go with that, but just circle the ones. You can certainly make them out of shaker cards and, or shakers. And um, you can see the ornament shape. You can link them together if you want them dangling. That's another option. And I thought this was so clever. So this is taking the cutting die and turning it into uh, an ice cream cone. So very clever, whoever did that. And um, that's a fun thing to see. And so, so it gives you a little round use, year round use. Again, uh, simple to use with those papers, looks really nice. Here's the season's greetings, just simply stamped, repeated uh, vertically and horizontally. And I thought this was really cute to use the um, orna uh, the clothing for the snowman and do a little clothesline. So that was very fun. In fact, there's a, another photograph of it. And let's see, a few more. This is giving you step-by-step -step how to make this three-dimensional. Now there is a download and you have the information to get to that with the magazine. And just a few more to share with you. 
I thought this was cute, cordially invited, so letting them, so you could put those both on a card or you could have it as a stand-up little uh, decoration if you like. And this is just doing different types of cards. This is with a wobble spring underneath it, which is perfect with this little guy. I thought he was really cute, a little wiper snowman. So uh, lots of ideas. Um, and as I said, 21 uh, cutting dies, 11 stamps, a very useful uh, stencil all together in one box and all here from our friends uh, on the slow boat from, <laughs> from England and Practical Publishing. We are delighted to tell you these are exclusively here at paperwishes.com.